I recently made it to the Big Five O, and I went to York for my birthday, spent a few days there, and I decided to do a little bit of a history tour and visit some of the places I know that Richard III had actually visited. Now, this isn't a history video, it's just a few clips that I had, and I thought my fellow Ricardians might enjoy this. I'll also be taking a quick look at the Archbishop's Palace, which we know for a fact Richard was there, and I'm lucky enough to be allowed to actually have a few little clips inside as well. If you want to look at some of the information on screen, please just pause it. But in the meantime, enjoy a few little clips of Micklegate and then we'll head further in behind the Minster. The fact that the Barbican was actually destroyed and brought down really brings a tear to my eye. And there's a strange feeling I get whenever I go to York, I genuinely feel like I want to go back to the 14th and 15th century. And maybe that's where I was in a previous life. There's such a feeling that you get from York that when I look around and I see the modern shops and vehicles and parts of the medieval walls that have been destroyed in order for society to move in, it, well, it brings a tear to my eye. If you notice on the back of the gate here there are actually more windows because glass was very expensive in this period and due to being attacked from the outside they could afford to put more glass facing into the city. So here we are at the Archbishop's Palace and such a beautiful small building that many people don't seem to realise is here, it's actually behind the back of the Minster. A very quiet location in some beautiful grounds, and there used to be a lot more buildings here, but of course, modern society decided that they had to go. And we will be taking a look inside, and yes, I did ask if there was any ghosts or anything spooky going on, and they told me inside, not that they've noticed so far. Wind is blast and weather strong hey, 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 what this nicht is long and it's well me shall wrong so they can more than fast it's hard to believe that richard was actually here and the history is just seeping out of this building and again as i've mentioned i find it heartbreaking that the vast majority of society now doesn't give a damn doesn't care doesn't even know anything about the vast majority of english history but as long as there's some of us out there that really do appreciate it I suppose that's all that really matters. Now this building has still got some of the original medieval glass inside and the bottom half now, now turned into the library and the archive centre, hasn't really got that vibe anymore. And when I went inside it's a very strange feeling. I felt more on the outside than I did on the inside and the top floor when we actually get in there you'll see has been absolutely sterilised. But there are glimmers still internally of some medieval glass and some of the original structures. If only these walls and this building could show us and tell us the history that's happened here. All those people, all those lives, where are they now? With loves and hates and passions just like mine, they were born and then they lived, then they died. Such a shame. I want to cry. And that was lyrics by Morrissey. I hope you enjoyed this little look. It wasn't an official video, but I thought fellow Ricardians might enjoy a little look around this building. Thanks for watching.